Hey everyone, happy Sunday. Um, today we are in Psalm chapter 10. Uh, this one is, well I can't say it's pretty long because Psalm chapter 9 was longer than Psalm chapter 10. But uh, most of the Psalms are really short. Um, normally like 10 verses I feel like. Um, there is a few that are longer. This one has 18. Um, so let's see what Psalm chapter 10 has to say. It says, Why, Lord, do you stand far off? Why do you hide yourself in times of trouble? In his arrogance, the twisted man hunts down the weak who are caught in the schemes he devises. He boasts about the cravings of his heart. He blesses the greedy and reviles the Lord. In his pride, the wicked man does not seek him. In all his thoughts, there is no room for God. His ways are always prosperous. Your laws are rejected by him. He sneers at all his enemies. He says to himself, nothing will ever shake me. He swears no one will ever do me harm. His mouth is full of lies and threats. Trouble and evil are under his tongue. He lies in wait near the villages. From ambush, he murders the innocent. His eyes watch in secret for his victims. Like a lion in cover, he lies in wait. He lies in wait to catch the helpless. He catches the helpless and drags them off in his neck. His victims are crushed. They collapse. They fall under his strength. He says to himself, God will never notice. He covers his face and never sees. So, I, I love crime shows. Um, and that set of verses right there, in my mind, you, you get told, you know, whatever you read a book, you kind of visualize in your mind what is going on and kind of it plays out. Whenever I read that set of verses right there, in my mind, a crime movie, crime show is playing out. Because um, that literally is seems so much like a crime show setup to me. Um, you know, he, he lies in wait um, from ambush. He murders the innocent. Like, that setup right there is Scream's crime show. <laughs> um, verse 12, Arise, Lord, lift up your hand, O God. Do not forget the helpless. Why does the wicked man revile God? Why does he say to himself, He won't call me to account. But you, God, see the trouble of the afflicted. You consider their grief and take it in hand. The victims commit themselves to you. You are the helper of the fatherless. How great is that, that God is the helper of the fatherless? That we can have an, like, I'm blessed to have an earthly father. And my earthly father is incredible and he's one of my best friends. But not everyone is that lucky. Not everyone is blessed to have an earthly father. But how great is it that even those that don't have a father in heaven? That, I, I hate to say it, but the father in heaven out, outweighs my earthly father beyond compare. It says, break the arm of the wicked man, call the evildoer to account for his wickedness. That would not otherwise be found out. The Lord is king forever and ever. The nations will perish from his land. You, Lord, hear the desire of the afflicted. You encourage them and you listen to their cry, defending the fatherless and the oppressed so that mere earthly mortals will never again strike terror. How great is our God, guys, that he cares so much for us, that he cares about earthly sinners like us that long before he knew that we were going to be sinners and we would need a savior and so he sent his one and only son how great is our God that, that is just where I'm at today is how powerful how great is our God it's it blows my mind sometimes how how big our God is and how much he has his hands in every single day. 
everyone have a great Sunday have a great week and of course as always go be the example